Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. <laughs> Waiting on you, flatter fart! Whenever you want to die, I'm right here. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opened the gate. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift?
coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brot than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane and cast that guy through there. You just give me this thing. Now. Turn it! Turn it again! other stuff. Look around! Find an angle! Ain't this what you do? Once more. Aye, aye! Hey! I got the crank covered! You do the other stuff. We need a new vantage point, brother. <laughs> ah, promising. Ain't they seen us? Got something for you? 
to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, boy. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Now, oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I know you! You're the rump stuff! We're about to get clean! So this lady then... The lady of the forge. Ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day! Woo! Oh, I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. All oh, fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale.
He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like the when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
Galfi Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not at all. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a spot in line! What hell? Ain't this just like old times there? Couldn't have put it more forebodingly myself. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. 
We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. Yeah. The bigger, the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <laughs> them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> hey! Calling all pepper grip! They're behind you! Seeing no weak spots down here. But you keep looking. Look down below! A bit late for that. See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever you need. Uh, one of these told children. Uh, put it uh, in the trap. Uh, <laughs> Hello there. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskru whenever you're ready.
Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Can I see how you... You'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious to day day. We don't.
I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? 
Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Brock! <laughs> So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. The war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. As long as you remember we can't get home this way, we'll need to take the train down.
Hmm. So this drop near Spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his. Nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Berserker gravestone. You know what to do, brother. Hey, big guy.
speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big, gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Brother, about the oracles of your lands, would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first, but in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once. I sought the Oracle for a means to break my bondage to Ares. But enough of that for now. Looks like Darlin's taken to locking his doors. Hard to blame him. A little... The tavern is his primary office anyway. Brother, can we get back to what you were saying about the Oracle of your homeland? You mentioned trying to escape your bondage to Ares. Yes. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. But enough of that for now. Memory serves. We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Durland's hammer shouldn't be far behind.
someone there. Please. I need help. What do you want? Well, to put it simply, treasure. The cash just over there, to be precise. My son and I, we... We came to these isles to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and... Was, well, seemingly proven right. Is that why you haven't moved on? My son, I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. We were sailors once. Left Midgard to seek our fortunes on the earth. We were so close to succeeding. The remains are old. His son so is have gone by now. It costs us little to make sure. Really? Beautiful from up here. <laughs> Another incomplete rune slate.
broken Muspelheim seat is now complete. We should find a mystic gateway. Perhaps we'll find Surtur's combat challenges. Durland's hammer. Still in one piece after all this time. Unlike Durland's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Between the creatures and all the debris, no one could have made it out of here alive. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Another one already? Great! How exactly do you keep popping up with a one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Th thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fella, huh? <laughs> must open up just ahead. <laughs> Quite the sum there, brother. We will find the ghost son. Really? His request isn't a distraction? He does not know his son's fate. I see. Kratos, don't you have a way through that door? <laughs> Found something good? Yes.
This isle seems abandoned. Another Berserker gravestone. Father. Speak, spirit. Is that? Father. I can't see you. I wasn't quick enough. I'm so sorry I abandoned you. Your father is dead. What? How? He went to find the other treasure on his own, to spare you the dangers. It seems that in your efforts to protect one another, you each came to one of these islands on your own, and... I've been such a fool. But thank you for telling me. Perhaps now we can see each other again. What a shame. In their attempt to spare the other, they both perished. There is a lesson there. What now? We will retrieve the treasure, then return to the father. What for? To finish what he and his son started. That water wheel's getting no water.
We never do seem to get rid of those things. I see. The geyser under the water wheel is blocked. Something appears to be atop that island. Perhaps the treasure the spirit spoke of. We could use that lift, but not while it's up there. Master Kratos, a spectacular job. Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. I can't tell if he was patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Both. down, but it has to stay that way. Connected to the gate.
quite the cash. I see why it meant so much to our lost treasure seekers. Perhaps we should go tell the father what became of his son. Bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me. If you are this upset, he already has. Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. 
I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. Very talented with a sword. Mumia. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Brother, can we get back to what you were saying about the oracle of your homeland? She had visions of Olympus being brought down. Yes, by the god of war. Therefore she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. We'll just pick this up later. Son. Oh, please, tell me. He died trying to find the other treasure. He didn't know you were doing the same. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. We'd be alive and rich beyond all reason. Together. Don't blame yourself. He is at peace. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. Yes. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes. Yellow horn. What is it? Where did it come from? It's a very loud horn, and I've not the faintest idea. Mimir. No, truly. No one knows where the yellow horn originated. Odin just gained possession of it one day.
you make the spear? Wait, no. Brock has to be the one to tell me what happened. I'm just gonna pretend I was never here. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. <laughs> what is this path? Oh, just one of the many insane things we had. Enough. I remember. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear. See what we got. Do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? There's some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught him all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. It's become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. For the goddess. The Aesir will be running scared. What are you looking for? You make up your mind. About time I had something to do. Sure, I'm open.
Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. My father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. 
that he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea. 
but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this, and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Tris. See you later, Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd. Mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? Nicely equipped. What needs work? In Thor's room. Everyone back home would freak if they knew I was in here. Wait, what am I doing in here? You don't understand. It's a lot more complicated than you think. You don't need to know why things are done. You... But I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then help me. Why are you so intent to walk the same path? And with that 
boy, no less. It's not about him. I just, this is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We are Aether. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. Ah, there he is. The giant disaster himself. Seriously, what's your problem? <clears throat> huh. Not here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. Huh. Is this old, or does he make them paint him young? What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir. Isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? It was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust you. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside, and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this, and I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. That wasn't something for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, ho oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau. Should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Ah. The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? 
screwed. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to hell. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. <sighs> now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. He's such an asshole. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Hellwalkers, here's your chance. <laughs> For the record, I believe you fought the Valkyries. I just don't believe it was Grandfather who corrupted them. Or that he caused the desolation in Midgard. Or that he had all the giants killed. Am I missing anything? Uh, lots, actually. More Hellwalkers! I got this! What? I'm just supposed to walk? No way! Wow, he's really good. Yeah. I don't think these warriors are very hard to beat. heinous crimes as my grandfather committed. Let's see. He decimated Danahan, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Raya and Mimir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission?
dead end. This is where the mask said to go? What's it say? Ow. What's it say? What's it say? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way!
I got this. Well, there's a big hole up there now. Could be our way around. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. New York families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. What I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing. Even if she scares the life out of me. That means a lot. Thanks. Now, we have a masterpiece to find. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Yeah. It fell through the floor! Could be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. Now we go right. Into a group of hellwalkers. Let's get up. <laughs> This way is blocked, too. There has to be another way. Keep your eyes peeled. What's the mask say? So, the mask's floor is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? The Alpha! <laughs> This way? Uh, sure. Are you messing with me? I need this to go well. I need my family to see what I can do. I know. We both do.
Mask? Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. <sighs> okay, this thing is really fighting me. See anything in there? you shot crashed through the floor again let's head back and check it out so i talk about my mom a lot what's your dad like he's intense like he's trying to force me into this mold but i'm not sure that's me oof well i know exactly what that's like thing is i don't know what i want i love that you do you'll figure it out Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier, but of course the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Soundstone. You know what to do. Beautiful. Sweet. So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them trained. <laughs> Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. you now. Uh, looks like it's through here. The training gave me... 
Too heavy? Shut up. Something's blocking it. I'll take a look. But I want to hear the rest. Deal. Have you seen these arms? Let's see. Gaffa. Not bad. I know. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all strength and style, no apologies, gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward, clear as day. Two bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Make your own path, just like we've been doing here. Now let's see. Step aside, little man. Got it. Sure looks like it. Stupid crate. Looks like it's through here, but it's blocked. Find a way to cut the crate down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah, guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no. Just talking to Ingrid. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. <laughs> Let's see. Where can I get a better view of that crate?
get back. Hey, what's going on out there? You okay? I got it. It's open. Let's go. Whoa, the mask is freaking out. We must be close. <laughs> Who's that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. Same thing. Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. There was another one under his foot. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. in the water or something there's how it's not responding anymore this has never happened but you said trust you and we let that thing loose grandfather's gonna kill me we gotta get out of here come on through wait up maybe we missed it maybe it's back here through through it's it's gonna be okay how can you say that 
I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. Qualified more. You know that thing tears holes between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half breeds. Don't call me a half breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? You see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. have a lot to learn, little girl, starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! You're so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the Almighty. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar. I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost... If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Okay, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Father. Secured the item we discussed. The mask, on the other hand... Well... 
They are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Run along in the way. Thanks a lot. Throod, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. I really messed up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? Sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm... <laughs> That was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here, in Asgard. But everywhere else... I think I want to go home now. Okay. If that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugin will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. I never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. 